Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be going across the river over here and doing some food plot clearing out. There used to be a food plot, it's overgrown so we're going to be brush hogging that. That can be out of shooting house, I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be clearing a few trails so it's easier to get up there. It's kind of like in the late archery here so it's not really the best golden time to be doing this but we're just going to get it clean so that it's huntable and um, for less to archery and into rifle season later on. So. I could show you the food pot, but uh, my DJI app for my drone is not working, so it's it's currently just sitting in the back of the side by side, not really being used because I can't. But um, I'll show you guys here in a minute this this food plot here. All right, guys, you can tell right here's food plot. Um, he's already done some brush hogging. This used to be like over eye level height here to me, and he's got a few paths in here that he's working on. That's my dad, by the way and whatnot we've been cleaning out this thing up there so this is the lower one that we have and then the upper one's up over there's a trail that goes up and there's another one that one doesn't have a stand or a shack on it so i never actually showed this hunting shack before so this will be new it's pretty dark in here wait for the lighting it might be a little bit better once you get up inside here So this hunting shack is probably about eight or nine years old. That's my guess. Um, I actually shot my very first deer out of this one with 243 when I was seven years old. So we're in seven years ago. Shot him. I was sitting right here on this. He was up there about 100, 100 yards, 150 yards up there. And I shot him. It's a, it a three point. Don't judge me, but um, you know, once you're that young and it's your first year, you're just kind of really excited about it. So it was really, really exciting for me. Um, yeah.
right guys, so pretty much done with the cleaning in here. It's not much, but it's just what I'm gonna do for now until we have like a better vacuum that actually has different attachments for it. Broken door, so. Now we go check and see where he's at. Where my dad's at. Put this phone job up on these other trails, so. All right, guys. So I checked on him. He's over working on the road that goes up to the other food plot. Um, we're gonna check out this stand that's right here in this tree. Um, see if it's good or not. What's not? So we'll check her out now. The thing you need to check really is where your straps are around this tree and um, making sure it's dry rotted. You can see it's like, like it doesn't come down. So I mean that's a good sign. And usually if they're in there throw it in but it's like a fairly really good one right here a little bit of leaves in it obviously we'll get that out of there um we're checking these right here they all feel nice so go ahead I feel like I'm sitting in a cockpit so this is a foot bar and then another rest it's actually really good. You can watch for this field. Obviously, it's gonna need. Might bring that saw up here. Right there in the back of the gator or the side by side. Cut some of these limbs down. Cut this big one right here. And all this will come out. Really, that's about it. Cause that limb is gone. You can see everything you need to. So. All right, so this spring is 99% of the time has always has water running in it or out of it. So here's this, I think that's the water hole. Okay, so it's over here. I can tell here. Obviously this is pretty nasty stuff, but this that's clean water fresh from the ground actually so it feeds down that way to drain but yeah spring that we have here so 